The Earth's surface is scarred by deep canyons, cut into solid rock. But how did they form? A little bit of water over a long time, or a little bit of time with a lot of water? Modern rivers don't generally cut downward into the solid rock, so today's river erosion seems incapable of explaining rock canyons. The great flood of the Bible, however, provides a possible explanation for such canyons. In soft mud or sand in your own backyard, you can see the power of heavy rains on a small scale. A rainstorm can create miniature canyons in only minutes. Though these canyons are very small, cut into mud, they share many of the same characteristics as the world's great canyons. On a larger scale, mud flows have also been observed to form these features quickly. At Mount St. Helens, a single mud flow off the mountain carved Engineer's Canyon out of soft sediment in a single day, 100 feet deep. And the same thing even happened in solid rock. A series of mud flows created Lewitt and Step Canyons on the front face of Mount St. Helens, cutting hundreds of feet into solid rock over just a few years. We observe canyons being cut into rock today but only by catastrophic processes. Just imagine how easy it would be to cut massive canyons during and after Noah's flood. Torrential water and mud flows, followed by uplift and heavy rains, created the right conditions to produce the world's canyons. Furthermore, it may have been easier when flood sediments had not fully hardened. Grand Canyon is a good example where we find evidence of catastrophic forces at work. Upstream is evidence of huge lakes. These lakes would never have formed if the canyon were already open below them. However, if these lakes had formed from rains after Noah's flood, and if the pressure of these waters broke through and carved through the recently deposited sediments, then we would expect to find surge deposits downstream. Below Grand Canyon, this is precisely what we find. Evidence of a lot of water cutting over a little bit of time. seen 
some layered rocks and wondered how on earth we got them. It happened when the top layer squashed down the layers on the bottom. Layers that are very buried down there are cementary rocks. Sandstone is a common type of cementary rock. Limestone is another one. You have one if you have a piece of chalk. Shale is my favorite rock. Just think it of it puts me in a trance. Coal is fossil fuel. It's made up of some really ancient plants layers that are very buried down there are sedimentary rocks I'd really like to talk about those little things called fossils for a minute but you'll have to ask your teacher cause I'm beat and my heart just isn't in it. <laughs> Just below the crust you'll find the mantle Above it magma floats around too hot to handle The mantle's heat makes magma ooze up to the surface We're cooling off and forming rocks Is its purpose Rocks are called intrusive rocks when they're formed in the crust. Granite is one, and because it cools slowly, large crystals are a must. Extrusive rocks are the ones formed from magma shot out of the ground. You'll find lots of pumice and lava to where volcanoes abound. into rocks. <laughs> Too hard to handle when it's near <laughs> the mantle.
rock once that looked like a plate called a shale in its sedimentary state then heat and pressure produced a new treasure shale became a new rock a new rock they called slate it was a sedimentary I know of a rock called limestone. Believe me, it's no five and dime stone. Then heat and pressure produce a new treasure called marble. Marble, it's really a prime stone. It was a sedimentary rock. Through a kind of shock, shock. lots of pressure and heat turned it into a neat little smooth metamorphic rock. I've seen granite more than once or twice. It is idiots to be precise unless heat and pressure produce a new trend. That's nice with a G. It was an igneous, igneous rock till it went through a kind of shock. shock. Lots of pressure and heat turned it into a neat little smooth metamorphic rock. These are many metamorphic, metamorphic rocks. They all went through a kind of shock. When pressure and heat turned it into these neat little smooth metamorphic rocks. I got it. We finally found the magic gemstone by learning about all the rocks in the cave. That was the key to the treasure. You're right. Just think about all we learned. The rocks are made up of minerals, and there are three types of rocks. Sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic. And the sedimentary rocks are made of layers of sediment pressed down by other layers over time. And the igneous rocks? Those are formed from magma that's found in the Earth's crust near the mantle, or from magma that shoots out of the Earth from volcanoes. And the metamorphic rocks? Those are sedimentary or igneous rocks that have been changed by heat and pressure. Sandy, I think you're going to ace that test tomorrow. My test? I've got to get home and study. Okay, what I want to know is, who did you like the best? Sandy? Sandy? 